meeting is being recorded. All right, hi everybody. Welcome to today's Wednesday evening practice. Surprise, today is a shorter practice. I'm aiming for 30 minutes. It might be a 45 minute class, uh, but rather than following kind of the same format where we'll kind of like come up in intensity and then taper back down, we're gonna keep things a little lower to the ground, both physically lower to the ground and also just a little bit more mellow and stretchy. Sometimes you're having a stressful week and you can't find it within you to teach a different kind of class. So if you're having that kind of a week and this is the kind of practice you're looking for, that's amazing. Um, we're gonna get started with some seated alternate nostril breathing. So if you wanna go wash your hands or grab some hand sanitizer, we'll be touching our face. Um, beyond that, a little bit of space to move. I have two yoga blocks just cause I always like to use them. So if there are props you like to use, you can grab them, but we, they won't be necessary to get you into any of the shapes we're doing. Um, and the playlist is in the chat box if you're interested in following along. So, so to make your way towards the seat that feels comfy and good for you, I'll stay seated in this chair. If you like to follow along with the playlist, I am going to press play on it right now. Before we move into the alternate nostril breathing, just take a couple really big breaths, kind of like energetically enter this space. So rest your hand somewhere that feels comfortable, sit up nice and tall, take a big breath in through the nose. And a big breath out your mouth, feeling your shoulders relax, your face soften. Again, like that big breath in, filling up the rib cage. And a bigger breath out, maybe you make kind of an audible sigh. And one more like that biggest and loudest breath yet, breathing in. And out. Bring your right hand up to your face. Touch your thumb to your right nostril. Tuck in as many fingers as feels good. Use either your pinky or your ring finger for your left nostril. For now, breathe in through the left nostril. Plug left, exhale right nostril. Inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. And we'll begin again, inhale left. Softening the shoulders, exhale right. Relaxing the face, inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. Keep this going at your own pace. working to cultivate a sense of peace within your body. And as you continue to breathe, notice the length of your spine. Notice any tension through the neck, shoulders or jaw. If you can find a little more space with your next breath in and a little more softness with your next breath out. Nice, even, steady breath, starting to bring some balance to both hemispheres of the brain. Finish up one more complete round of this on your own. So the next time you exhale out your left nostril again, rest both palms comfortably in your lap and just notice how it feels. Nice job, we'll probably be finishing up soon. Don't rush, just rest and notice the way 
the breath feels, the way your body feels. And we'll move right from this seated breathing into some seated neck stretching. So gently bring your right ear towards your right shoulder and just nice and easy. Take a couple big slow breaths here. Hands stay resting on the lap. We're not gonna intensify this at all. Maybe you think about sending your left shoulder a little back. Think about gently lifting the left ear up to the sky, noticing any shifts in sensation through the top of the shoulder, side of the neck. One more big breath in. And as you breathe out, tuck your chin down to your chest. A couple breaths here, stretching through the back of the neck. Maybe you gently rock your head side to side if that feels good. And then gently lift your head back up to center. And we'll gently rest the ear towards the opposite shoulder. So stretching the right side of the neck now. If it feels good, you can close your eyes. Really focus all your awareness onto this right shoulder, right side of the neck. Breathing in big, expansive breaths. And when you're ready, tuck your chin down towards your chest. Just checking in again with the back of the neck. And then we'll lift the head up to center. All right, we are gonna make our way now down onto our stomachs for crocodile pose. I told you this would be a chill class. You're gonna lay down on your tummy, stack your palms on top of each other to give yourself a little pillow for your forehead. You can let your legs rest long if that feels good. They can be as wide as is comfortable on your low back. See if you can preserve that same sense of calm that we were cultivating through the breathing, through the neck stretching, and invite the rest of your body to relax here. Noticing any tension through the hips or the low back. And when we're laying down on our bellies like this, we can engage diaphragmatic breathing a little more easily because we have this feedback of the earth beneath us. So as you breathe in, think about your belly button pushing down into the ground, like tunneling through your mat. And then as you breathe out, feel your belly soften and your body rest down towards the earth. Again, like that, breathing in, sending the breath down to your belly button, feeling the expansion of the rib cage. And breathing out. See if you can maintain your awareness on this breath for five more slow rounds all on your own. Allowing the body to relax a little more with each exhale. Nice job, you might be a little over halfway. Take your time. Nice, when you're all done with your fifth breath, can start to push yourself up into Sphinx pose. So arms are like the number 11 on the earth. You can bring your toes a little wider apart on the mat if that feels good. And slide your elbows back so that they're right underneath your shoulders. This is a little bit of an active back bend, but it shouldn't be too intense. So you're starting to draw the chest open and forward. Think about widening through the collarbones. Maybe again, just like in that neck stretch, you think about sending your shoulder heads a little bit back. Find length through the back of the neck. And again, if it feels good here, maybe you find some movement with the neck. Maybe you draw big circles with the chin. 
Maybe you just kind of look side to side, checking in with your range of motion. Keep that engagement through your middle and upper back, gently hugging the shoulder blades together, which allows the chest to open, building a little bit of strength and stability in the upper back here. Take one more full round of breath. And as you exhale, lower all the way back down onto your tummy, we'll find shoulder pigeon together next. So send, let's do left arm first, left arm out to the side. Maybe it's a little bit at an angle, whatever feels good. You're gonna start to gently roll onto your left shoulder. Start out real easy at first. You don't want this to be too much, but you might feel a big stretch across the front of your left pecs and your left shoulder. Rest your head wherever feels good. Two breaths. When you're ready, you roll back to center and we will find this on the other side. So right arm goes out long to the sides. Gently rolling onto the right shoulder, settling in, getting a little comfortable. Finding a stretch that's not so intense that you can't let your body soften into it a little bit. Two breaths here. Good. Roll all the way back to center when you're done. You can zip your legs up like a zipper behind you. Slide your palms down towards your lowest ribs. You can kiss the mat with your nose and start to find cobra pose, peeling the chest up and forward. Doesn't have to be really high yet. This is our first one of practice. So start to feel into the different muscles that help you hold this shape. Think about digging your toenails into the mat. Use your legs to press your pelvis into the earth. And then extending the spine long. Think about lengthening the back of your neck. So tuck your chin in slightly to lengthen the back of, of the neck. That's, yeah, that's how you do that. And pinch your elbows together behind you. Broaden your collarbones. Take one breath in here. And as you exhale, lower down to the ground. Nose kisses the mat. We'll do that three times here, matching breath to movement. Inhale, cobra pose. Peel your heart up. Exhale, lower with control. Again, like that, breathing in, lifting from the heart space. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, nice job. Press yourself back to child's pose. Toes touch, knees are wide. Let your heart melt forward onto the mat. Notice especially how the upper back and your hips feel here. We haven't done much for the hips yet, but the upper back has already been working a little bit for you. I invite you to stay really connected to your breath throughout this practice. I mean, always because yoga, but especially when we're moving really slowly and introducing some gentle stretching the breath can be a really helpful tool to, I mean, number one, keep your mind focused because sometimes when we move slowly, our brains are like, well, we would prefer to move fast. And so this is part of the practice too, the training of the mind to be slow and anchored. You can also help bring some extra awareness to places where you could breathe space into your joints, into your muscles and find a little relief. Crawl your fingertips over towards the right, finding a stretch through your left side body, left lap. Find two breaths here. Nice job, return to center and crawl off towards the left side of your mat. Big stretch on the right side. Stretching through all of those little muscles in between each of your ribs. One more big breath in. And a big breath out. Good. Return to center. Start to press yourself up into tabletop. 
We'll find some cat and cow here. Set yourself up on purpose. So hands are wide on the mat, gripping down at the earth. Bring awareness even to the feet. Think about pushing the toenails and the shins down. Lift your belly button up to hug your spine. And as you breathe in, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. As you exhale, round and curl, sending the chin towards your chest, pushing your hands into the ground. Start to find a flow between these two shapes that feels right to you. Bring some movement to the spine. Maybe you start to add on other little movements as it feels good. And you're welcome to just stick with cat cow for a while. But if you're looking for a little more for the hips, I invite you to kind of move between child's pose and then kind of forward through king cobra. So you'll roll over the knees, lift the heels towards your glutes. If you have a really tight low back, this might not feel good. But if you have a tight upper back, this might feel good. And then if it feels okay, you kind of windshield wiper the feet side to side. So I'm kind of finding sphinx pose or cobra pose through my chest so that my low back isn't collecting all of this pressure. And then you can roll back. If you're still doing cat cow, that's amazing. I think probably all of us would feel better if we did two minutes of cat cow every day. But we're gonna play for about four more breaths. Next, uh, one more round of whatever you're doing. And we're gonna meet back in tabletop. Tuck your toes underneath here and push your hands into the ground so you can lift your knees up off the earth. This is hovering tabletop. We're gonna be here for a couple breaths, starting to build a little bit of heat, a little bit of, I almost said exhaustion in the body, but that's too intense. I don't wanna tell you that because then none of us will wanna do this. All right, keep it together, Abby. All right, so we're in hovering tabletop, think about, energetically sliding your palms back towards your knees and your knees forward towards your palms. Feel your core turn on, mine is shaking. You might add a little bit more here. Invitation to start to lower one knee to hover a little closer and then up and then lower the left knee and up. You're here for four, just for three. Down dog and two, down dog and one. You can lower all the way to tabletop. Walk your hands forward, then send your hips up to the sky. Take several breaths here, walking out through the legs, finding whatever relief you're looking for along this back line of your body. Remember to spread your fingers wide on the mat and grip at the earth with your fingertips and the big knuckles that connect your fingers to your palms. It helps bring stability to the shoulders, you can feel free to stretch through the back of the legs. Take a big breath in here. And a big breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet up behind your hands. Let your chest hang heavy. Feet are as wide and knees are as bent as feels good. Maybe you're swaying side to side. Maybe you're finding twists or a chest expansion. I know we do this little like down dog to rag doll sequence in every single class. So this might feel really automatic, but how could you bring a little bit more presence to this shape today? Rather than doing the thing you always do, is there something else that if you really tuned in, you might notice would feel especially good today? Nice job, take two more breaths. Amazing job, all right, we're gonna roll up to stand. So you might bring your toes a little closer together, bend your knees to protect your back, start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Boom, 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 boom. All right, beautiful. All right, we're actually not gonna be standing for that long. But from standing, 
Sorry, the angle's all crazy. All right, it's gonna do a little bit of love for the shoulders. So find a long stance on your mat, maybe facing the long edge. And I want you to find eagle arms, right arm over the left, weave your palms, pardon me, to touch. You can grab a big bear hug. We're kind of just gonna stand like this. We're not even doing anything that fancy, which means you can do this at any time in the day that you're starting to feel a little tense through the shoulders. I want you to engage a little bit more here. So think about lifting your elbows up in line with your shoulders. And then think about gently sending your fingertips away from your face. If this is too much, you can lower the elbows, bring the hands in. But see if you can keep this active stretch going. And the lower body is not like passive and chilling out either. Your legs are strong, sturdy, supporting you. They're grounded into the earth. You can stay just like this. If you wanna move a little bit with us, take a breath in, lift your elbows up just a little. And as you exhale, gently bring your elbows down towards your chest. This is a really small movement. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift the elbows up. And exhale, elbows to chest. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale, elbows to chest. And then release. Give your arms like a really good shake. Like truly, when was the last time that you gave yourself the chance to release a little bit of energy through physical movement. I mean, that's like literally what yoga is, I guess. So maybe last week was the last time you did this. But if it feels weird, just keep going with it. Feel your hands moving, feel your arms moving, maybe your shoulders too. If it feels okay, you can close your eyes. We're just wiggling. There's truly no wrong way to do this. <laughs> You're here for four, for three. Abby's crazy today for two. And one, we'll stop, take a minute, let your hands rest at your side. Notice any sensations you feel moving through your arms, through your chest. And then we'll do this on the other side. So the left elbow goes on top of the right one this time. Find whatever position for your hands feels best. Remember to ground through the feet, draw energy up through your legs. And we're here. We're hanging out. We're just feeling into what it feels like on this side, checking in with the shoulders. Maybe you gently move the neck side to side, just seeing how it feels. If you want a little more, you can lift the elbows, send the hands away from your face, but maybe on this side, things are feeling a little more tender. You want to take it easy. That's great information to notice. And there's the option to find three little rounds of this tiny back bend. So if you're moving forward with us, breathe in, lift the elbows any amount. And exhale, elbows towards the chest, finding a little rounding through the spine. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, closing in. Let's do one more, breathe in. And as you exhale, elbows to chest and release. We're gonna shake again. You don't have to shake for as long unless you really like shaking, in which case find a song that's like a minute and a half long that you love and like let yourself just kind of like thrash around to your bedroom sometimes. That's just like a, a stress life pro tip. So you're, you're welcome for that. All right, everybody's doing great. We are. That was it, that's the only standing thing we're doing. We're going back down onto the floor. Now there's not a fancy transition. We're just <laughs> down off our hands and knees. All right, so find your powerful tabletop again here where you're actively engaged. And we're gonna find some bird dogs here. We're gonna start to engage through the core. Send your right toes straight back and then lift the right leg up. So this leg is long and strong, toes flex back towards the shin. Think about sending your heel as far back behind you as you can, that extension through the front of the right hip. And notice your glutes turning on to hold you here, your hamstrings turning on. And you might just stay like this if you're working on isolating those leg muscles, thinking about holding them strong. There's an option to bring the left arm forward, lengthening through the fingertips, but keeping the shoulder really hugged in in its socket. Take a big breath in, Extend your fingertips and toes. And as you exhale, elbow to knee underneath. Good, again, like that, extend. And elbow to knee. Two more like that, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Last one, inhale. And exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze, 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 and then release. All right, let's do the other side, planting the left palm firmly, left toes go straight back. First, lift the left leg up. Take a moment to negotiate this space in your body. It's kind of like you could like just donkey kick this wall behind you. Leg is not lifted up, your hips are in line with each other. And think about sending your inner thigh up to the sky. There's some slight internal rotation of the left thigh. You can stay like this, thinking about internal rotation of the left thigh. You can bring your right fingertips forward, lengthening, lengthening, breathing in here. And exhale, elbow to knee, moving like you're moving through honey. Inhale, lengthen gracefully and with control. And exhale, elbow to knee. Three more, you got it, inhale. And exhale, squeezing elbow to knee. Last one, make it your best, breathe in. And breathe out, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. All right, last thing we're gonna do here is a little bit of lunges. We've warmed up a little bit through the core. We're not gonna do some crazy deep lunging since we haven't had a ton of time to warm up. We'll just get into the hips and the low back a little bit. And then we will spend a couple of minutes in silence, just breathing, just chilling out. So I'm gonna have both of my blocks near me. You can do whatever feels best to you. <laughs> Come into a lunge with your right knee forward. Left knee is resting down on the ground. Hands are framing the right foot. Start to walk yourself up the right thigh. And then take a moment to adjust so that all your joints are stacked. Back knee under the back hip front ankle under the front knee. We're not like in a really extended lunge right now. Plant your right palm onto your right thigh. Lift your right arm up to the sky. Take a moment to breathe here. Think about pushing your left toenails into the ground and gently hugging your left glute in. From that stability in the lower body, breathe in, reach up one more inch. And as you exhale, bend to the right. Keep this engagement through the left leg. The engagement on the back side is what helps allow this openness across the front of the left hip. Relax your face, relax your shoulder. And as you inhale, come back up to center, reach both arms up high. And as you exhale, hands come back down to the ground. And now you can play with a little bit of a deeper lunge as it feels good to you. You might use your blocks to help bring the earth a little closer. Start to wiggle the right toes forward. And you're just kind of like checking in with this moving forward and backwards here. So we're not going crazy with the left hip. And maybe, maybe that feels nice, but you wanna get into the back of the right leg. So you can start to rock the hips backwards, moving towards a little half split straightening through the right leg, letting the toes be strong and flex up. This helps to activate the hamstrings along the back of the leg. And then maybe from a place of exploration and being open to what this would feel like, start to just bring these two movements together in a way that synchronizes with your breath. Three more rounds here. No rush, just checking in. Nice job. And when you're all done, we'll make our way back to a tabletop. Sending the right foot back, and then we'll bring the left foot forward. We'll repeat that same sequence on this side. So to start, hands are framing the left foot. Walk yourself up the left thigh. Take a moment to shorten your stance here. This helps magnify the stretch in the right hip. So back hip over the back knee. Back leg is already pushing down into the ground like from tabletop earlier. Left knee directly over the left ankle. As you breathe in, reach up high. Squeeze this right glute. 
And as you exhale, you're reaching first up and then over maybe just a little bit. This is a side bend. You might feel it through the right side. This is really a moment to let the right hip flexors lengthen and then gently release. Good. return to center, bring your hands back down to the earth or to block, start to wiggle the left toes forward, whatever amount feels best. And we'll start by playing with just a little gentle sink forward, saying what's up to the right hip, how you doing? And if it feels good, you can also stretch the back of the left leg, letting the hips rock backwards. Not trying to achieve anything, just noticing sensations, following the breath. Find two more rounds, nice and easy. All right, and we're all done. Make your way into a tabletop, and then we will transition into laying down on our backs. We're gonna do a little figure four, and then we'll rest. So we're just gonna keep listening to this one song. <laughs> Repeat for as long as we need to, because guess who didn't uh, really understand how long this class would take? Me. All right, so you're laying down on your back, cross your right, ankle over the left knee. Maybe this is bringing enough of a stretch to the right outer hip for you if you want a little more. You might bring both legs closer to you. Maybe you even use the right elbow to kind of help push the right knee away, opening through the right hip. Let your shoulders be soft here. And let's switch out the legs. This time, the left ankle crosses over the right knee. Take a moment to decide what happens next for you. And stay present with the breath. Letting the shoulders rest heavy towards the ground. Maybe opening and closing your jaw, getting any tension out of the face, not worrying about how silly it looks. Good, you can let that side go. Find happy baby pose, sending both feet up towards the sky, grabbing for maybe the backs of your thighs, maybe your shins. And the great thing about a short practice is that if this has left you feeling like, oh man, I want so much more, like that's amazing. It's amazing to want to do more. So if you have the time, maybe you find another video, maybe you kind of feel inspired to do your own thing on your own, just kind of making it up as you go. There's really no wrong way to do it. And honestly, one of my favorite things about yoga is that it really can support us wherever we are in a day or a week so if you're having a crazy life your practice is there to catch you hug your knees into your chest pull yourself into a teeny tiny ball take one breath of air and as you exhale let yourself unfurl into some sort of a resting shape that feels good so maybe shavasana starfish corpse pose maybe a little more support for the back would feel good. You might knock your knees together. Bring your left hand to rest on your heart and your right hand onto your belly. And we'll invite a breath here to close things out that also inspires a sense of balance. 
just like alternate nostril breathing. So as you breathe in, I want you to think about breathing into your left palm. And as you exhale, think about it coming out of the right palm and being distributed throughout your body. And then it's like a circle is being made between these two hands. So breathing into the left hand. And the breath arcs up and over and then breathing out through the right hand. Okay, if this visualization doesn't work for you, but I want you to allow your body to be soft and your attention to rest on your breath. No matter how many times your mind wanders off, you can always come right back to the feeling of being in your body, the feeling of feeling your breath, and you can start again. This practice is about the coming back in the beginning. Again, it's not about never being distracted or never quite getting there. There is nowhere we're headed. Let yourself just be here. If you have the time, I invite you to stay resting like this as long as you can. If you're ready to be guided out, start to deepen your breath. And bring little movements to your fingers and toes, and your wrists, and gently making yourself into a big stretch, something that feels good to you. And then taking your time, you're rolling onto your favorite side for fetal pose. And gently, slowly pressing yourself up to a tall seat. And we'll end again here with three big breaths. So find somewhere comfortable where you can sit up nice and tall. I always just like to do the hands up. It just feels good. You don't have to, but you can. <laughs> Take a big breath in, expanding in all directions. And a big breath out on your hands to your heart. Two more, breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, breathing in, feeling yourself expand and fill up. And breathing out, feeling grounded and calm. Draw your thumb to your third eye center. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. All right. 38 minutes, not 30 minutes, not 60, a cool 38. Um, I hope that this practice was supportive to you and whatever you needed today. Um, if you need more, there are so many other videos on this channel that you can go watch. 
um, you could just press play and do this again. And if you're watching it live, um, you can't do any of those things, but I'm really glad that you were here anyway. I will see you all next week. Oh, I'm gonna be in um, with my family next week. So you'll see a very different scene um, and that'll be really exciting. So hopefully I'll see you then. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.